Just like triads, seventh chords can be inverted to improve the smoothness of bass lines and offer additional contrapuntal possibilities. Standard notation for these inversions comes from the figured bass tradition, which measures intervals above the bass note. A seventh chord in first inversion contains a sixth, a fifth, and a third above the bass, and is abbreviated 6-5, which, as a short form, leaves out the figure 3. Likewise, second and third inversion chords are abbreviated as 4-3 and 4-2. Because 7 diminished 7 and 5-7 share three notes in common, it can be useful to recognize the voice-leading similarities between specific dominant and diminished seventh chords. 7 diminished 7 acts similarly to 5-6-5, as a neighboring chord to root position tonic. Seven six five acts similarly to five four three as a passing chord between one and one six. and 7 diminished 4-3 acts similarly to 5-4-2 as a neighboring chord to 1-6. 7 diminished 4-2 does not share a bass note with any position of 5-7 and is used primarily to intensify a root position dominant by oscillating between scale degrees 5 and 6 in the bass, as in this example from Mozart's Rondo in D. These fundamental roles aside, the diminished seventh chord is a good example of the limitations of root inversion theory. Because all of its audible intervals are tritones, the theoretical root is less salient than usual. We'll see in a later lesson how composers use this feature to their advantage. The voice leading for both groups of inverted seventh chords functions similarly. Resolve the leading tone up by step, the chordal seventh down by step, and avoid following a diminished fifth with a perfect fifth. There is, however, one important exception to the proper resolution of the diminished fifth. In the following two progressions, it's acceptable to not resolve the chordal seventh when the outer voices move in parallel tenths. Here, the counterpoint's richness and strong sense of direction attenuate the lack of resolution and soften the effect of the diminished fifth that moves directly to a perfect fifth. On the subject of counterpoint, 4-3 chords offer an important advantage over 6-4 chords, with which they share a bass note. Because 6-4 chords sound hollow, they're used only in very specific situations. 4-3 chords, on the other hand, sound rich and are not constrained in their usage. This relative freedom applies to all 4-3 chords. As explained earlier, inverted dominant and diminished seventh chords often serve a subsidiary role to an anchoring tonic providing tension and contrapuntal motion between two stable pillars. Performers should be sensitive to these harmonic groupings, as well as the ebb and flow of tension they create when shaping phrases. These examples contain two types of progressions, two tonic prolongations with inverted seventh chords, and a cadential progression with a root position dominant. Notice how harmonic tension fluctuates as the music progresses to its final destination. In terms of harmonic tension, the 5-4-2 chord is sometimes used to diffuse the sense of an impending cadence, as in this example from Beethoven's first piano sonata. Here, the expected motion from 5 to 1 is interrupted by inverting the dominant, a situation sometimes referred to as an evaded cadence. This enhances the tension of the ongoing theme 
and keeps alive our desire for ultimate resolution, somewhat akin to stretching an elastic band. Again, a performer must be sensitive to how the harmony breathes and shape the music accordingly. In our next lesson, we'll discuss adding sevenths to chords built on other scale degrees. Thank you.